Cześć przyjaciele! Hi friends! Welcome to Polish Mama Cooks! Easter in Polish Wielkanoc, Wielka meaning big, noc meaning night, is right behind a corner. And soup that is traditionally served for Easter in Poland is brzurek. It's a soup based on a sour ray soup starter, like this one. And it is cooked with some sausages and some bacon, some mushrooms. There are different ways of making it. However, today I would like to show you how to make this soup vegetarian way. So to make that soup you need a few things. First you need a sour ray soup starter and you can buy it easily, but also you can make it at home. If you would like to make it at home, I'm going to put the link in the description for you so you can go and check it out. Also, you're going to need some stock, vegetable stock of course in this case, and a bit few of other ingredients. The important thing about that soup is to build up the flavor. So you don't just put things together and see what happens, but you slowly add things to make it better and better and better. So first, I'm gonna start with my garlic. I preheated the oven to 400 Fahrenheit. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop off the top of it And then basically wrap it in some aluminum foil. Sprinkle a bit of olive oil, just close it and put it in the oven for 40 minutes. So I will come up with a garlic paste. So my garlic has roasted, this is how it looks. And basically I want to take all the skin off, take them out, it's going to be soft and squishy. You can see how squishy it is, I want a paste and this is a perfect paste. The next thing you will want to do is take about a cup of dry mushrooms and then soak them in water for at least 20 minutes and then slowly start to cook them. Also, you're going to need some chopped onion, peeled carrots, and some fresh mushrooms. I'm going to use about four or five just to get some texture into my soup. So next thing you want to do is preheat the vegetable stock that you made and add the sour ray soup stock. Shake it well. Just put it in. Zurek, I think you need to build up slowly the flavor and it usually comes in few stages so in this case I'm gonna build my flavor besides the actual sour ray soup starter with sauteed onion and some mushrooms While the onion is sauteing the next thing I'm gonna do I have here peeled and cubed potatoes and I'm gonna put it on medium heat and slowly let them cook so very nice and soft but they're not overcooked. So my onion has been sautéing it's a yellow and brownish which is absolutely perfect. What I'm gonna add to it is first the paste of the garlic that we just made and then mix it all very well And then the second thing I'm gonna do is add the fresh mushrooms that I chopped in small pieces. And you don't do use too many of them because we don't want a mushroom soup. We just want a, a bit of a texture in our jurek. For example, instead of the sausage that is traditionally used. I'm gonna just let it cook for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, my potatoes are slowly cooking, my stock and my jurek is already simmering and mixing together and third thing I'm gonna do is cook my mushrooms for about 10 minutes again. So I have my potatoes, my mushrooms, my base of onion and mushrooms and my vegetable stock with the sour ray. A soup starter in it. Because I want to add some carrots and another texture and very hard, very fresh, 
I'm gonna put them in it so they can slowly start to cook. If you are making stock from scratch, which today I didn't, but if you wanna do it, use the carrots that you use for building up the flavor for its stock. So I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. I'm gonna add my dry cooked mushrooms. My cooked potatoes. It smells so good. The smell the fermentation, all of it just comes so well together. We need some marjoram. A tablespoon of horseradish. And I'm also gonna add a pinch of lemon juice. So now I'm gonna try it. The flavor is starting to develop. I can already taste the fermentation, the mushrooms. I think it needs a bit more salt and slightly bit more pepper. So now I'm gonna let it sit and simmer for about 20 minutes. So this is the end result. Mm. This is just beautiful. You can taste the sour race, fermented sour race flavor of the soup starter. You can also have a texture of those mushrooms. And I'm gonna try a bit of carrot. Mm. The carrots are still crunchy, which gives it another flavor. We can taste the marjoram and the horseradish. It's a tiny bit spicy. It just comes very well together. Thank you for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed this version of Vegetarian Zurek. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and see you next time. Bye bye.